Hey everybody, it's The Van Show, and today we're talking to my friend, Aaron Nell Steinke. Say hello, Aaron. Hi. Hey. <laughs> now, Aaron, we're going to start the show off by asking you to fill one minute with as much information about you as you can. Okay. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> I'm ready. All right, hold on. Let me, let me get the clock going. <clears throat> and... Okay, my name is Aaron Nell Steinke, and I am 38 years old, and I am a cartoonist. I am the author of Mr. Wolf's Class. The second book just came out, Mr. Wolf's Class Mystery Club. I'm also a fourth and fifth grade teacher in Portland, Oregon. Oh, cool. And um, I write and draw comics that are slightly based on my experiences as a teacher. Um, I have been drawing all my life, uh, but I don't think you have to have drawn all your life if you want to get into making comics. I think you can start anytime. Stick figures are fine. Um, I didn't consider myself a writer until I was older. I mostly like to draw, but then I started um, watching the films of Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli, oh, yeah. and I wanted to become an animator. And so through animation, I learned to tell stories in a visual sequence, and then I got into comics because for me, it felt like every graphic novel or a comic was like... You were an illustrator. You were drawing at a young age, I take it. Yeah, I, I think I probably started drawing as soon as I could pick up a pencil. I have a brother who's seven years older, and I think he kind of guided me in that direction. Um, he was always making drawings and paintings, and so I wanted to be like him. Yeah. Um, because I would, I would copy cartoons, and I would copy characters like um, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and uh, Scrooge McDuck from the DuckTales, which yeah. were based on comics. And I never knew how to like draw my own poses with them. Uh, I would always just kind of draw the static image that I looked at. But then if I drew like battle scenes or I would draw Ninja Turtle battle scenes oh, yeah. between like the foot soldiers and uh, Bebop and Rocksteady and Shredder, I would draw a lot of Ninja Turtle battles. Man, of course, yeah, yeah that Eastman yeah. and Laird stuff is so cool. Yeah, I didn't even read the comics when I was a kid. Oh no? No. Oh, that's uh, I okay. watched the cartoon and You're I played cool. the video games and I had the toys. <laughs> but then when I was 19 years old, no, no, sorry, fast forward, when I was 25, 26 years old, I got a grant from the Zarek Foundation, which was uh, uh, Peter Laird who co created the Ninja Turtles, like you just mentioned. Uh, he was giving money to uh, authors who wanted to self publish comics. And so he gave me $1,530 to publish my first book and I published 1,000 copies. And so I got all my money back from all the toys that I bought. Uh, and then my wife and I made a book together called The Zoo Box. And it's this really great story. I love the story. And I can say that because I didn't write it. My wife wrote it. Ah. But I illustrated the story. And it's about uh, these kids who discover a box in their attic. And when they open the box, and of course the box says, do not open. Yes. But what would you do? Of course I'd open it. Of course. So all these animals come out and they, the kids follow the animals to the zoo and it's actually where the zoo becomes kind of like a twisted version of a zoo or a twilight zone version. So uh, they find out that the zoo is really where humans are on display and the animals are the ones that are the spectators. Uh, so my wife and I did that book together. We won an, a Will Eisner Award for that book. Well, congratulations. Thank wow. you. And that was really That's cool. A big deal. And um, after that, Mr. Wolf came about. And I, um, I'm very happy about the Mr. Wolf class series. We've got a third one coming this summer. Uh, on September 3rd, Lucky Stars is going to be published. Awesome. Now, for those who, of, our, of our audience that haven't read the Mr. Wolf series yet, can you give us a little description of kind of like what the stories are about? Yes. So, in the first book, uh, Mr. Wolf's Class, uh, it follows around all the characters in his classroom. There's 17 students, and they, there's no real one character that's the main character. There's no protagonist. Um, all the characters are equally important, and so we get to see like every chapter, a new student kind of comes into focus and another one will kind of go to the background. And in the second book, um, well, okay, the, the funniest part about this, the first book is a student goes missing. It might sound scary, but it's actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> in real life, it's scary. Yes. But in the book, it's funny. I'd imagine as a teacher, that would be extra scary. Yes. And in the second book, Mystery Club, um, it's all about this group of kids who decide to start a mystery club to solve unsolved mysteries of their school. Goodbye! Goodbye!